Okay, Innes Cantor Freedom. He's putting China in a full court press, but not everyone is playing along. Cantor says members of the NBA have begged him to take off his custom shoes that call out the CCP. Wow, that's unbelievable. Now he's raising his voice for Venezuelans trying to live the American dream like himself. Mr. Freedom joins us now. It is an honor, and I uh, speak on behalf of all of us to have you this morning. Uh, if, if I may, when the, when the members of the NBA beg you to take those sneakers off, what do you say to them? I was like, you know, I'm getting ready for my citizenship test. And there are 27 amendments. My first amendment is the greatest amendment of all time, freedom of speech. Mm. And I pretty much told them, was like, listen, whatever happens, I'm not going to take the shoes off. Go tell your boss. And they said, listen, uh, this might get you in trouble. You might get, you know, you're banned. I was like, I don't care if I get banned, if I get fined, anything like that. You know, I am putting something on my shoes that what people need to know what's going on around the world. And I'm not breaking any rules because I have conversation with, you know, Adam Silver, the commissioner. And he said, I'm not breaking or violating any kind of rules. So I'm not taking up my shoes. Go tell your boss. And, um, you know, they said, okay. Well, I, go, no, go well, I want to ask Ennis this because um, it's important to, it's important to dive into his political opinion and his political mm -hmm. positioning, and, and, and Rachel's going to do that in just one moment. Mm -hmm. But in this, uh, we've met once before. I spent years covering sports, and right. I can't tell you, uh, I'm, I'm fascinated by this angle of this as well. Your teammates, the locker room, <laughs> you've definitely taken a stand where you stand alone right now. How is that for you inside your locker room with your personal relationships? You know, my teammates are my biggest motivation. You know, you know, they always have right, you know, stand right beside me. And obviously, not just my teammates, but many other players around the league are reaching out to me and saying, thank you, finally. You know, I, I'm often asking them, is like, listen, why don't you just join me? And many of them says, you know, these are not my teammates. These are the people, uh, other players uh, around the league are saying that these teams got us. If they talk about any of this sh stuff or issues that you're talking about, you're not going to be able to find a contract next year or our endorsement bills or our sponsors was going to go crazy. So that's why many of the uh, athletes around the league actually are reaching out to me and sending me talking points are saying, what about this? What about this guy? What about this sponsor? So I was like, I have no problem with uh, calling out sponsors, calling out teams, calling out NBA because, you know, this is what needs to be done and someone had to do it. Wow. I mean, I have to tell you, like, my heart is so big right now listening to you because mm -hmm. I'm just so inspired by you. First of all, I want to say merhaba. I lived in Turkey for three years. As a, I lived I in it. Turkey, beautiful country for three years, growing up as a military brat. Um, you inspire me and I think that what is so interesting about these conversations that you're saying that you're having with your, your teammates is that you're a new American, and yet you mm -hmm. seem to have the American independent rebel spirit, and so many of them are choosing money over morals and freedom. What does that make you think about in terms of you being a new American? Oh, man. You know, I remember first time coming to America back in 2009, where one of my teammates criticized the president, and I was so scared of him. I turned around, I was like, dude, what are you doing? They're going to come and put you in a jail. <laughs> and he said, he said, listen, brother, this is not Turkey. This is America. You have freedom of speech here. It is so amazing. People, people need to understand how much, how blessed and lucky that they're in, in this uh, situation. There's, you know, so many violations are happening all, all, all around the world. <clears throat> and obviously, America has uh, her own problems, too. But people feel needs to be lucky and, you know, feel special to be in the situation because you got freedom of speech. Religion, expression, press, uh, press, and you got democracy, and you know you got human rights in, uh, in here. You're going after Venezuela as well. Um, Nicolas <clears throat> Maduro is a very evil dictator. Mm -hmm. um, so you're seeing a rise of authoritarianism, not just in China and Venezuela, mm -hmm. but around the world. What else do you plan to do to stand up to tyranny? You know, one thing about Venezuela. First of all, you know. Dictatorships are happening not just in Turkey or China, but all around the world. You know, in recent years, more than six million Venezuelans have been forced to leave their country and looking for a you know a chance to survive. And many of them live now as refugees or illegal immigrants around the world. Um, you know, my goal was to just not just 
you know, talk about Turkey or China, about all the dictatorships around the world. And I'm going to get them one by one, you know, because I, I believe this that guy. this platform is given me by God. And, you know, I'm, the one thing about me, I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared of anyone by God. So I'm like, try to use my platform, platform as much as I can to inspire young generation because that's what we need the most. And I hope this isn't the last time yeah. oh, that we, we talk. We want to have it's you back. Fascinating conversation. Yes, can't For sure. Let freedom. me know whenever you I'm a, I'm a big fan. So right. please let uh, me know. All right. Take freedom. care. Around. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you so much. God bless you, sir. Love that guy. So as the sun comes up, a clear picture of the devastation from, from tornadoes that hit overnight. Keep it here for the latest from the heartland.